Memphis's starting group. The wingmen are Bain and Brooks. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four. And it's Morant in at the point. And for Indiana, they've got Tyrese Halliburton. Smith is out there with Turner. Then there's Buddy Heal. And it's Nemhard in at the two. And a big issue for teams, Greg, is to share that ball with any open teammate. Halliburton against Morant. And Halliburton's free. Jackson's got his second buck. Well, Jackson has become a threat from range, taking and making those shots more consistently. Here's Halliburton. And the open look. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Three. Jackson's got his second bucket. Well, Jackson has become a threat from range, taking and making those shots more consistently. Here's Halliburton. And Hank. Pacers leading by five. Halliburton outside. And yes, it's good. And those are the kind of nice inside looks. They've got an outside, mid-range. Brooks has the accuracy to make whatever look he gets work for him. 17-foot shot on the way. And he knocks down the jumper. They are losing because he is struggling so bad. And he has not been comfortable all game. The effort level of the Grizzlies, RJ, can be an equalizer against some team. Yes, that's bad. Halliburton against Morant. And Halliburton slams it in. And once Halliburton hits his stride, there's just very... Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin, we'll see if they can... Well, in the end, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Halliburton inside the three-point line. The good-looking shot from the wing. Halliburton against Morant. Here's Matherin. Back to Halliburton. Like it's six. Good! Washington now. Morris, left side, launches it. Oh, Clank's that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Halliburton outside. Gets his second attempt to go. Here's Matherin, pounded by Beal. Halliburton against Morris. Shot from 16, and he wills that one. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. So far, rebounding has been a big factor tonight. Yep, and they've simply shown more aggressiveness, guys. More desire to secure the ball. For Indiana, they're shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Halliburton on the attack. Yep, count it. And the Pacers lead by 14. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best with space along the perimeter and shooting the ball with confidence and he's got great range too here's Halliburton up again they really came in with the right mindset today I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with and it's going to be the Pacers off the tip let's check out Indiana's starting lineup they've got Turner Smith is out there with Buddy Heald. Then there's Turner. He's a strong finisher, huh? The Pacers have gone two for five here in the first. Three-pointer, Halliburton. An absolute bomb from trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. He drills it from deep. This guy shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Back to Halliburton. Help the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Aggressive. Found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. Now here's Halliburton. 15 points in the game. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Heald's got five rebounds tonight. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Halliburton. And he gets that one. Halliburton's got six in the quarter. Their defense. Fourth quarter of play at over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Back to Halliburton. He takes it in. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. How about
about the craftiness on the drive by Tyrese Halliburton. This guy's ability to...